1200 ton. Here's old batteries that people have uh, handed in. And this is how it all comes in when people recycle them. These guys are telling me that they're sorting about four of these bags per day, each bag weighing about a thousand kilograms. So these are all alkaline batteries. Lead battery, yeah. cell phone batteries. This is an old uh, power drill <laughs> battery. So I wanted to bring you here today to put a little perspective on our energy use. There's obviously right now a big push towards finding an alternative energy source to gasoline. And electric power is, is something that we talk a lot about. But the problem is we also need a way to store the energy and this is where batteries come in. When these batteries were first developed in the 80s, our demand for batteries was slightly different to what it is today. The batteries were developed during a time when this was the coolest thing you could own. And that is basically why the batteries were developed. To power, for example, small music players. And sure, we still use batteries for these, but now our demand for clean energy has given electric power a new future. So what is the issue? For electricity to replace gasoline, we could go two ways. Either use existing technology, or start over with new ideas. I would say that today's batteries, they do work. We know that they work. But the problem is that we want more energy density. We want them to be more sustainable. And we see that the materials that we have today, they cannot provide us with the energy density we want. Or they have problems in that the materials that we use, they are a limited resource of our planet. There are several different types of batteries used today. The most common ones are our disposable alkaline batteries, which for obvious reasons can't be used to power a car. Out of the various rechargeable batteries, the lithium ion battery is today the most widely used. And even if the batteries look a little bit different, this is the technology we use in today's electric cars. Well, this car behind us here, that's an electric car. So it's a plug-in electric car which you charge and there will be no emissions whatsoever when you run the car. The system we have in this car is the traditional lithium-ion battery. And when you have this battery inside, you probably have a driving range of about 80 kilometers. So that limits the ride that you can make. So using these materials have some limitations. An increasing demand for lithium is also making scientists doubt that there's enough to meet these new needs and that extracting too much could have a negative impact on the environment. Instead, they are looking into making electrodes out of new and more abundant elements, like for example sodium or sulfur. So this is our battery machinery wor workplace. So we put our materials in through the lock here and in this atmosphere here, which is, this is totally argon filled uh, glove box. We make our materials without any humidity, without any oxygen. This is very crucial for the batteries to operate. And we put together small, small coin cells, much like those you have in your everyday watch. And from that, we test materials and capacity of cells and those kind of parameters. New elements and new thinking, but the basic concepts are still there. There are some things that are totally the same, but there are also things that are totally different. We will still have electrodes, we will have an electrolyte, and we will have another electrode, and between those we will shuttle current, and that will happen. But the way you make them, you nano-design your electrodes, you make maybe totally organic batteries, you make uh, bacteria produce your battery materials. There are many, many different ways that are far beyond what we're doing today. The future here is that we will have new materials providing us better batteries with longer driving ranges and then you would really see a true electromobility revolution. A clean energy source is one of the biggest and most important challenges that we have to solve for the future of our planet. But we also need a way to store it that can meet our new needs for electric power. And that's where the next generation batteries come in and the important work that the material scientists are doing. If you like this video, check out the other videos that we've done on material science at Chalmers University of Technology. And never forget the important work that these guys are doing as well. All right, see you next time. One of those jobs that I don't think we give enough credit to is what these guys do in the back here. Manually, seriously, I can't not emphasize this enough, manually sorting batteries that we uh, hand in for recycling. 
everyone, everyone should send these like cakes and flowers.